Hi, I'm the Calculus Professor, and today we'll be talking about definite integrals. Welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about Section 5.2 on definite integrals. And let's start with problem number 21. In problem number 21, we'd like to write the limit limit is delta goes to zero of the sum k going from one to n of x sub k star squared plus one delta x sub k on the interval zero to two as a definite integral. Okay, so this problem is fairly straightforward. We just have to recognize the different pieces that make up a definite integral as it relates to this Riemann sum. Okay, so let's rewrite this sum over here so we can look at the different pieces. This says limit as delta goes to zero of the sum k going from one to n of uh, x sub k star squared plus one delta x sub k. All right, so there are a couple different pieces here, and we just need to convert these different pieces into the pieces of the integral that represent them. Now, the first thing we have is we have the limit of a sum, okay? So basically we're saying let's add up a bunch of rectangles and let those rectangles get small. So we're adding up a bunch of things. So we're summing up a bunch of things, and the way that we write that as a definite integral is our integral sign. Uh, it's kind of like this integral sign is a big S for the word sum. So it's the sum of a bunch of things, and that's the limit of the sum. Now, if you want to know what your limits of integration are, then you have to go back to what interval are we working on here. And in this case, we're working on the interval 0 to 2, so our limits of integration here would be from 0 to 2. Now the second piece that we look at is the piece involving x sub k star. Now x sub k star represents that special point in each one of our rectangles, but as the rectangles get smaller and smaller, that can just be represented by x. So everything that's an x sub k star can just re be replaced in the definite integral by an x. So we could just write this as x squared plus 1. So all x sub k stars are replaced by x's and we have our function. Now delta x means a, uh, delta x sub k is that small change in the width of each rectangle and a small change in x is represented in our definite integral by a dx. So the limit of the sum becomes an integral sign. The functional part that involves an x sub k star becomes our function. And our delta x sub k, this piece, becomes our dx. So we've got this guy's here, this guy's here, this guy is here. And we have the definite integral that would represent that limit. 